a medieval fashionista, musical genius, polymath, astronomer, and cultural trendsetter. This is the story of one mind-blowingly versatile man, a massive cultural icon you need to know and stand. His name was Abu Hassan Ali ibn Nafi, but everyone called him Ziryab, meaning jaybird in Persian. They apparently called him that because of his melodious voice and sweetness of character. And this jaybird changed Andalusian and European culture forever, influencing how people dressed, what they ate, how they groomed, and even the kind of music they listened to. He was basically an influencer, but without the social media. Ziryab was a symbolic and enigmatic figure in history. He was born in Iraq in 789 AD, where he was the student of great Persian musician and composer Ishaq al-Mawsili. Historians still debate over Ziryab's origins. Some say he was African, while others claim he was Persian or Kurdish, and some even say he was a freed slave. While these debates continue, what we do know for sure is that his brilliance was not confined by borders or limits. He eventually left Baghdad though, and moved to Cordoba in Andalusia, otherwise called Islamic Iberia. Ziryab charmed the court of Amir Abdurrahman II with his songs and became his chief entertainer. He also served as what many would call the Emir's Minister of Culture. And it was during Ziryab's time in Andalusia that he was given the liberty to practice his art, innovate, and basically lead a cultural revolution. He was a musical genius. He sang, played the oud, composed music, and some reports say he knew thousands of songs by heart. What made him very unique is that he ended up taking this instrument, al oud, uh, to Cordoba, Spain. Ziryab revolutionized music as we know it, laying the groundwork for classical Spanish music and eventually changing the course of European music. What's fascinating is this guy who brought this oud to Cordoba, Spain, is ultimately kind of responsible also for the evolution of this instrument to become the lute, uh, the European lute, and eventually becoming the guitar. Uh, and also once he arrived in Cordoba, he was, it was famed that he uh, created a school, a conservatory, a school of music, which we might consider to really be one of the first music conservatories in Europe. And uh, he opened it to uh, teach both men and women uh, in this school, and uh, it wasn't just for the elite. But the remarkable musical pioneer was also a trendsetter. He inspired everyone with his hairstyles, interior design skills and fashion trends. He quickly became a symbol of elegance and style and everyone would try to emulate his looks. He brought with him not only music and instruments but also um, cultural practices uh, and fashions from the East. He introduced daring hairstyles, summer and winter fashion trends, and even assigned dates for when certain clothing items should be worn. He even popularized shaving for men. And for women, he had some contributions in that department too. He showed the ladies how hair removal works and some edgier hairstyles they could rock. He brought toiletries such as perfumes, cosmetics, and toothpaste to Andalusia, and even created a new type of deodorant to eradicate nasty body odor, and promoted the idea of taking two baths a day. Thank you, man. He also came up with new cleaning tools. What was unique about that is that the people adopted it, these Eastern customs and traditions, and so much so that there was even a school of cosmetology opened uh, during his, his time for these health and beauty practices. But his influence didn't end there. Ziryab transformed the way people ate and socialized, introducing new presentation styles, ingredients and etiquette to the dining table. He was a talented gastronome who introduced many unknown recipes. He introduced uh, things like asparagus, different dishes. You can also thank him for the spread of tablecloths and the introduction of the three-course meal. Ziryab decided that palace dinners would be served in courses based on a fixed sequence. So first you have the soups or broths, then the main meal, i.e. fish or meats, followed by fruits or desserts and bowls of nuts. This custom soon became so favorable and widespread that it reached Europe. It's also where the expression to describe a lavish feast from soups to nuts comes from. Yep, Ziryab did that. But apart from his culinary innovations, he also introduced chess and polo to Europe. And was an aficionado in other fields too, such as astronomy, linguistics, poetry, meteorology, chemistry and botany. I mean, it's almost like the guy had several brains inside his skull. And not only was he super smart, but apparently he was incredibly likable too. Here's what Muslim historian and scholar al makari had to say about him. There never was, either before him or after him, a man of his profession who was more generally beloved and admired. 
But Ziryab was not just a genius. He also happened to be super fortunate that the Emir of Cordoba at the time supported his work and gave him the concession to bring cultural vibrance to Muslim Spain. That golden era, which he really served as a catalyst for him and Abdurrahman um, II in about the 9th century, would set uh, into motion all of the advancements and achievements and cultural achievements that would occur in that stretch of nearly seven centuries when the Iberian Peninsula spoke Arabic. Ziryab's children kept his music alive and his students took his trends and inventions to North Africa and Europe. And by doing so, his achievements transcended borders and not only changed the Muslim world, but also became part of the Western Renaissance. And just decades later, Cordoba became the intellectual center of Europe. So we're talking about an era that not only was music exchanged uh, by way of a figure like Ziryab, but we're also talking about poetry, science, philosophy, uh, mathematics, uh, and a myriad of different uh, uh, learning that really culminated in this region. This region is an extremely important way for us to understand the new world we live in today. Without the advances and, and everything that happened in this place, we might not know the world we know it today. And that is who Ziryab was.